this is such a mess. Look, pushing through the line and getting to the front doesn't get you through that any faster. Okay, let's get away from those sirens. We need to fix this, this thing, this mess today. Because that's just... This whole section isn't being used right now because of these trains. So we have to get these guys on their own circuit and the red ones on their own circuit. Uh, so we'll pause that. Anyway, welcome back, guys, to Cities Skylines. I am Autism Father. I am... I'm doing something totally bizarre over here. I don't even know what. All I know is I have the money and things need to be fixed. So it's going to cost me money to do these things, but I'm doing it because it's just not working the way it is right now. Uh, so this series been going pretty well. You guys have been really amazing, very responsive, giving me some great ideas. Uh, for example, moving this and having the cargo train on its own tracks. Um, some ideas with naming areas. Uh, all kinds of really great stuff. Uh, I kind of want to have this train... I'm trying to think of the ways to have the tracks linked, but at the same time not come to a complete stop like that. Um, so I just want to thank you guys a lot uh, for the support of the series. You guys are enjoying the game. Uh, I am really enjoying the game. It can get a little weird sometimes. You're just dealing with traffic. Like right now I'm dealing with train tracks. <laughs> but... I have no idea what's going to happen to these trains, by the way. <laughs> They're just going to be in the middle of nowhere. Made those people happy. Uh, but these games are a lot of fun. They're... I don't know. Something about the micromanagement of it all is fun to me. And there's not a lot of games that I can say that about. That is the weird... That There's no train that can make a bend like that. There's no, there's no train that turns 90 degrees. Um. Yeah. Let's get rid of those and have these guys just going in through there. Up and around and over here. give us our cargo. Let's just see what happens. These trains will just have to disappear. So there's, yeah, there's a lot of micromanagement of these sorts of things. Getting these train tracks situated right and and the traffic flowing properly and I don't know what's going on with that train. So the cargo is coming in. The cargo's over there. No more red trains, right? Right. Okay. Listen, I know you don't have any water or power because you don't have any trains either. There. This seems like a waste to be giving it power for no reason. Anyway, um, it's really hard to talk and think about these things. That's one of the challenges of this series. Um, I watch a lot of other people. I watch uh, Corrales and B00 and, and Doc M and, and a few other people play this game and, and they talk all the way through it. And a lot of people don't realize just how difficult that is to do, to be thinking about these little, the little details and to keep on talking and entertaining people, um, giving feedback and play by play on stuff and you know insights into what's going on in their mind at the, all at the same time all while thinking about what should, should what should we do be doing next 
It's really quite amazing. Uh, they are far better at it than I am. I am more than willing to accept and admit that. Uh, this isn't doing a lot for these guys. We have the money for it, so I think... It still doesn't reach all the way down there, does it? It's just because this is one-way street. We will do that. That train is still sitting there. Can we do anything about that? No, we can't. These trains are very happy now, though. So that is good. Um, also, and I know this is going to jinx it for me. It has happened in the past. It will happen again. But I, I need to thank you all because uh, my channel has hit 900 subscribers. And 900 um, is not a big deal, you know. There's, there's so many channels with so many more people. Um, but, let's go up here. Not that far. Uh, but, at the same time... Um... Like, I'm approaching a thousand, which, when you think about it, um, is kind of a big deal, because it's it's kind of one of those in-your-head sort of big deals, right? Like, to get to a thousand is no much, not much of a bigger deal than getting to 900. I mean, it's a hundred more, like 10% we're talking about here. Distance too short? What? Um, but at the same time, like to think like getting from from nine hundred and and clocking over to one thousand, like the next big the next big deal is like ten thousand, <laughs> and that's like nine thousand people away. That's a lot of that's that's big. That's a lot. Um. I couldn't imagine 9,000. 9, Never in a million years. Um, but getting over to 1,000, that's kind of what that does, right? Like, it's... Mm, I kind of don't want to do that. Yeah. Too close to the edge. No. That's just wrong. Trains don't bend that way. Well, train tracks don't bend that way. Maybe we're too close. You know what? It's fine. No, it's not fine. you bend properly sure whatever um, so now these train tracks will go around and over here to over there and connects that way and down and over there and connects that way so we don't really have a way for the passenger plane uh, planes trains to get to the south side of the city but they do come up this way and that's not bad that's a good start <laughs> that would be a terrible place for it. Until we get a, a way for it to get down there. Anyway, um, so I think that's fixed. Uh, still needs its own power source. We'll see if we can get any uh, red trains to come through. And if it blocks up traffic. How is our traffic doing, by the way? Much, much better now. Yeah, it's red, but there's nobody stopping. Um, so 900 subscribers is a, a big deal. It's not as big a deal as 1,000. It's a big deal because we're approaching 1,000. So now I have to think, like, do I do a 1,000 subscriber special? Is it worth it? Do Can I do one? What, what would I do? <laughs> um, 
Is it even worth it? I mean, a thousand people. Oh, red train! And it goes back out again, and uh, nobody's clogged. No traffic jams. Good. Um, I don't know. Do you think I should? Should I start planning it now? I mean, I, there's a hundred subscribers to go. That'll still take me a little while. I don't get hundreds of subscribers. I, I can't even talk. I don't get hundreds of subscribers every day, so it's not like it's going to happen tomorrow. In fact, um, like I said, I'm probably jinxing it, so tomorrow I'll probably be back below 900. <laughs> Is That's the way it seems to go. Um, and that's okay. I'm just checking out the traffic. There's a lot of cars. No, those are trucks. There's a lot of trucks going to this. I suppose the cargo trains are doing even better now. Now that they have a way to get through all on their own. And I'm quite alright with that. So let's put some... Yeah. And then we'll have lower density around the edge. Our city is shrinking a little bit because people have no place to move into. So we will give them that. And along the edge. <laughs> I don't think they could fit high density into a three square little section. Uh, we have a park right there. Uh, yeah, why not? Happy people everywhere. That will help the land value go up. We have happy people? We do. We have mostly happy people. These people are just moving in. Which is why they're not happy. Um, so, yeah, I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm waiting, I'm, I'm waiting for your feedback. I'd like to know what you think. Um, is 900 a big deal? Am I making too big of a deal out of it? Like, look at this. Um... Or should I say a thousand? I know nine hundred isn't a big deal. It's it's just that we're approaching a thousand. Does that make it a big deal? Should I think of doing anything, or should I just not even care? Just keep on making videos like I always have been. Uh, I think we can get rid of that. We can. Uh, these power lines, when they're like that, see that? They take up building spaces. Like right there. Building spaces that could be better used for, I don't know, something like building. Yeah. Call me old fashioned, but I think building spaces should be used for building. Um, our train situation is mostly fixed, I think. Um, Although I'd like to get a passenger train down here, uh, particularly over here. Uh, just not entirely sure how to accomplish that at the moment. But the cargo trains are doing well. Our money is up. Our people are still not moving in all that quickly. Um, what we're missing in this city, I don't know if you've noticed, we have this little stretch of industrial that can actually pollute things. And then we have farmland and um, forestry. We don't have, like, industrial that can really, like, make a mess. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, um, they don't have big polluting areas, like, pumping out pollution and smog and all that sort of stuff. I think we're we're lacking in that. I think we need to have that. I don't know why. Um, like, we have industrial demand, but we have all this industrial space not being used. And I think that's in large part because they're waiting for um, space to be able to put smokestacks. You know, stuff that's going to make a big mess. Uh, is this a one-way? It is. One-way street going that way. That's what I did with that. Um, so I'll need a way to get across the water here. And I think this will be it. One-way street going that way, and one-way street going that way. 
we have the money for it right now. We have a highway down here that we can also branch off of. So let's start doing that right now. We're not going to get it done this episode because pretty much running out of time as it is. Uh, let's slow things down. Nice bridge. Yeah. Why do you... It kind of sinks down when I get back up here. I kind of like... That. No. That. Yeah. Yeah. that um, and then we're gonna build this and it's going to be going the wrong way but we can turn it can we turn it we can't turn the bridge we can't turn the bridge really that is just weird. But still, we need it to be built so we know what it makes a straight line. See, there. And there. Yeah, everything goes that way, everything goes that way. All right, that's good. Um, so let's continue this, not upgrading, this this way. This up here. And then we need to turn this around. Good. Uh, still lack. It. I still wish. I don't know. There's two lane roads, and then there's six lane roads. I'd kind of like to have four lane. I should check the workshop. There are updates in the store you can get. Um, uh, people, people been adding on to this game a lot. And I'm, I'm pretty much going to bet that somebody somewhere has come up with four-lane one-way streets. Or one-way four-lane street. I don't know. Whatever it is, I'm sure they've come up with it. Let's get these going a little bit more straight. That's really not straight, is it? I kind of wanted the industrial back here, but I kind of like the idea of it coming right up the highway because there's going to be a lot of trucks. So we can put the residential back here. Uh, well, actually, yeah, we could probably do more forestry over there. But we're going to put the, we're going to tuck the residential back here because uh, we want the heavy trucks getting on and off the highway and using these these big roads. Let's get some industrial going right away since we have the demand. And these are going to be polluters. They're going to make a big stink. Nobody's going to want to live anywhere near. Now, you need to go all the way over there. You need to go all the way over there. Good, good, good. And then power. Wow, they're starting to build already. Um, where can we draw power from? Can we get power from the water, maybe, perhaps? I think we can. And if we build there, that should get us going. And then we need people off the highway always fun <laughs> always fun getting people off the highway into our place uh, we're going to do that with a one-way street and get people back onto the highway with a one-way street over here and then up oh, no I put it too close Let's not demolish that just yet. Yeah, 
looks good. Now we need to get some of these trucks off the highway. And this is a one-way street going the wrong way. Uh, now it's going the correct way. Okay, good. So we need these guys to be able to go like so. Uh, we're not going to have everybody from this way just yet. But we need these guys to be able to get over there as well. So I think we will take this. Nope. Hmm. This. And then like this. <laughs> kind of pointy, but whatever, it works. These guys can come off to get that way. Those guys can get off that way. Um, and nobody needs to get on the highway here yet. These guys do need to get onto the highway. So we will go from up here and down. And then from here, they need to get off here and down. Simple enough. We just disconnected our power. <laughs> there you go. Enjoy your power again. Starting to move in, that's good. Now we got residential demand moving up because these guys are gonna want workers. Anybody using our new roads? Uh, it's kind of a problem that creates a light here. We can deal with that at a later time. So we have a whole new industrial section. I think that's great, and as strange as it is, oh, we also got a baseball diamond. I don't know if I ever showed you that. Uh, I got that off the this, this Steam Workshop. I don't think I ever placed it, though. Maybe we'll get a, a baseball diamond in here at some point. Uh, but I'd like to get a plaza in here, and these actually do help industrial sections. Like if I put that right there, it actually makes these people happy, and, and they upgrade. It adds land value. I guess, you know, people going to work, they like to have a park, too. Yeah, whatever. Uh, those guys can get across. Now, over here, this is not connected. Do we care? Because they're able to get on there. I suppose we could just do that, just to get rid of that flashing T. Uh, all is good, I think. Uh, we'll develop this coming soon. And in another episode, we're going to branch off across the tracks here again and get a new residential section going as well. Why is that cargo train on this section? I think you took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. Uh, <laughs> we got traffic backed up. No, no traffic. I'm not dealing with traffic right now. We don't want to hear about it. We don't care about your traffic issues. Um, that's it for this episode. Um, again, thanks for helping me hit 900 subscribers. Thank you for subscribing if you have. If not, what are you waiting for? I had to get to 1,000 next. So we need you. We need you. Click the subscribe button and we'll get to 1,000. I don't know what I will do, if I will do anything. No idea. But uh, if you do subscribe and we get to 1,000, hey, might be worth uh, putting some thought into it. Yeah, I know you need workers. I know. Next episode, I promise. All right, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying this series, City Skylines. The feedback has been great so far, so I think you are. I know I am. And uh, we'll keep on rolling out with new episodes. Um, I'm going to start showing off some new things. Uh, look at this. Ah, Stark Tower. Hmm. Maybe we'll place that next episode. Hmm. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, okay. I was saying enough. Saying goodbye. Enough. I'll see you guys next episode. Ciao for now.